New cars are rarely a financial investment, but a well-timed purchase of a preciously owned classic can be a fun way to preserve capital with the potential for a modest return. Welcome to MIA Luxury Cars, and here are the top 8 cars that don't lose value. Let's get started. <laughs> Toyota Land Cruiser FZJ80 Toyota has been making the Land Cruiser for like a million years and any generation is a safe bet not to lose money. But the one that is on this list is the legendary 80 series. That's the one from the 90s specifically, the FZJ80, which came out between 1993 and 1997. So, what makes this particular Land Cruiser so nice? This was the last few years of the generation and it came with the insanely beefy legendary 1FZ FE straight 6 engine plus full time 4 wheel drive and a locking center dip. This meal is super over engineered so it runs forever and that's why this car can still fetch a pretty penny. Even with super high mileage, we found this one with 200,000 miles on it and it's on sale for $17,000. You can get a Ford Explorer with bad paint and 200,000 miles on it for like 500 bucks. Integra GSR DC2 Basically, the GSR was really similar to the Type R, but it didn't have the Simola chassis, didn't have a limited sleep diff, very similar engine, and it didn't have any cool red trim. So you're really not missing out on that much. If you want to get your nuts a little greasy good driver condition gsr sells for around nine thousand dollars which is great for a 30 year old economy boxing since the type r is shooting up in value the gsr is definitely going to follow in his big brother's footsteps it's one of the only examples where trickle down is a real thing now like a lot of cars on this list you might need to look pretty hard to find a good one but definitely hang on to it if you're able to get one Porch Boxster S968. This one's a bit different because it did depreciate quite a bit, but it's on its way back up. So it is a sort of like a value that you might actually make some money on. So why are the P-heads hot on the Boxster's bandwagon again? Well, for starters, the new ones have a four-cylinder turbo motor and people didn't like that. This one has a flat six smack dab between two axles. This drop top cowboy puts down 258 horsepower to them. When it was new, it cost almost around $50,000, which is $75,000 in today's money. But nowadays, you can find them for well under 10 grand. This isn't a car that you need to keep hidden away in the garage because the Boxster really is fun to drive. It's the ultimate driving machine. Just make sure that nothing breaks because while the car is cheap, fixing anything on any porch is not. Jeep Wrangler TJ Wrangler in the OG Off-Roader Just like the Rand Cruiser, Jeep has been making Wranglers forever. And there are a ton of really good generations to choose from but our pick on this list is the second gen Wrangler also known as the TJ because it's, in our opinion, the perfect Jeep. A long time ago, Jeeps were basically metal frames with seats and steering wheel. Jeeps today are giant SUVs. The TJ is the perfect balance. It's the right in the middle. It's the Malcolm of cars. TJ also come in a ton of different trim options depending on your needs. Do you want to go off-roading without having to do a bunch of mods? Stuff Rubicon. You want premium seats and factory subfooter to bump your tunes? Grab yourself a Sahara. There's even a freaking Tom Raider edition. You can find a pretty good TJ for not much more than 10 grand nowadays. But really nice ones are selling for like $30,000. For a 30-year-old Jeep, the price isn't going down. VW Beetle Beetles have been around for freaking forever and not only are they a super overrated band, they're a car. And they're always had a really dedicated fan base 
so they're always extremely sought after. Although there was a period in time a couple of decades ago when beetles cost like 50 bucks, but today can't go wrong by an old bug. You can buy a classic beetle in pretty good condition for a couple of grand. You can buy a broken one for a couple of hundred bucks. Whatever you decide to do, they're notoriously easy to work on. Parts are everywhere and you really, really good return of investment with just a few weekends of wrenching. There's a reason that VW didn't really change the design of this thing for like a million years. It's just a good car. McLaren F1 McLaren F1 value has increased 1,000% from when it was new. And it was $815,000 when it came out in 1992, which is how much some got paid as a 7-year-old being on a season of Full House. $815,000 in 1992 is about $1.5 million today, which is a ton until you consider that McLaren F1 sells for $14.5 million. This is more of a joke one because you know 100% of you aren't in the market for a McLaren F1, but we really couldn't make a list of cars with good rassle value without including one of the highest appreciating cars of all time. BMW E30 the second gen BMW 3 Series, aka E30, was made between 1982 to 1994. It was sold for around twenty dollars to $28,000 when it was a brand new which is just over $49,000 in today's money. But for a while like 10 to 15 years ago, they got cheap like a dirt cheap. And back then nobody really cared about these cars. So a lot of them got scraped or turned into drift missiles or something. So prices have really shot up in the last few years. It's the same thing that happened at 240SXs and like every other car at the bottom of its depreciation curve. Really good A30s sell for about $20,000, but you can still find bargains if you look hard enough. These things are classic, and I don't see them all of a sudden not being classic. Honda S2000 S2000 is a legendary Japanese car. It is probably the best convertible of all time. Honda managed to pair their crazy good reliability with an intoxicating high revving VTEC motor in two door package that can only be described as beautiful. Honda built this so well that the ton of them are still on their first owners because nobody wants to sell them. So with a reputation like that, it's no surprise that these things hold their value very, very well. Whether it's an AP1 if the first gen or an AP2, it's a second gen. These things currently sell for between ten to twenty thousand dollars. One even sold for over seventy thousand bucks. Yeah, sure, it only had ninety three miles on it, but still, it's more than what it was new. But don't let the high cost for entry scare you away, because just like the E three zero, a pretty much every other car on this list, you can find them cheap if you're determined enough.